Multiple children remain in hospital this morning following the collision between a truck and the bus with 45 children from Exford Primary School on board. The truck driver has been granted bail, charged with four counts of dangerous driving causing injury. Let's go straight to reporter Alexander Darling in Melbourne. Alexander, good morning. What's the latest? Good morning, Michael. So as of this morning, uh, three Melbourne hospitals are still caring for patients that were injured in that crash on Tuesday afternoon. Here at the Royal Children's Hospital, there are, with the latest we've heard is that there are seven children, all in a stable condition. We're expecting an update from the hospital later today, uh, but we've also heard there have been some horrific injuries as a result of this crash. Uh, there's been amputations, crush injuries, lacerations, so as the police described it yesterday, life-changing injuries for some of the children involved. Um, but aside from the physical injuries, we've also heard about the emotional impact that this truck and bus crash has had on the community. Uh, teachers of Exford Primary School were among the first people to respond, uh, while we also heard from other drivers last night uh, about their efforts to help the children in their hour of need. We just saw the kids just screaming. There was, yeah, there was smoke and dust. We took out all the, all the kids that, that we could. Um, I, I couldn't even tell you how many. Probably 30, maybe. Uh, yeah, and then once we got those out, then we, we, we found kids that were stuck. So we jumped in the bus and we were just trying to help them. And there was other people there. We were trying to lift seats. And then, yeah, when we realised that you know, they were stuck under the bus with their, with their arms and that, and we just had to stay with them and um, keep with them. There's some good Samaritans there on 7.30 last night. So yesterday, Alexander, the truck driver was charged. What more can you tell us about that? Yes, Michael, he was charged with four counts of dangerous driving causing serious injury. Uh, and the truck driver's a 49-year-old man named Jamie Gleeson. Um, he has been bailed and is set to face court again in October. Uh, but the court also heard that uh, he rang triple zero and uh, aided in the rescue efforts uh, after the crash had occurred. Uh, at this stage, uh, also today, police will be back out at the scene in Ainsbury, which is on Melbourne's western fringe where the crash occurred, and they'll be continuing to investigate. We did hear yesterday that uh, there could be more charges laid, uh, but it's likely that no further charges laid will be as serious as the four dangerous driving causing serious injury that already have been, Michael. OK, Alexander Darling, thank you for the update.